And we are started with another week of Atlantic Coast Wrestling with Baby Doll and Bill Cornell. I'll tell you one thing, Baby Doll. It is a wild hour ahead of us. I mean, Hector Guerrero taking on, going up against Nelson Royal for that junior heavyweight title. We got uh, Tommy, uh, boy, between these two guys that are in the ring, let me tell you a little bit. Ricky Nelson and, uh, and Tommy Angel. Angel. I cannot believe what we're going to see out of these two youngsters in the weeks ahead. They're getting more powerful, stronger, more talented. I think they're going to whoop Nelson Royal and some other heinies. Like to see him do it. And then we've got Tommy Angel and Ricky Nelson against the Ring Lords. And these two guys are new. I mean, I've only seen them once since I've been commentating here. It seems like they've really improved their style since the last time I've seen them. Well, they really have, baby doll. Coming up, of course, in this hour, you're going to be talking with Sam Houston. Woo! We've got Jack. Jack, you like that, though? Yeah. Jack Jackson and Duck Summers, of course. Colt Steele's going to be back. Oh, yeah. boy. And we've got Todd Champion, Gene Ligon, all kinds of people. They're just so much ahead of us, really. And, and that's all in Atlantic Coast Wrestling here in the next hour. We hope you're going to stay with us. If you're wondering what's happened, we've kind of messed up your sheet yes. we're lost. So if we really <laughs> sound lost, we are. We got lost, folks. Can you believe that? <laughs> but we'll be honest and tell you about it. The Ring Lords. Up against Tommy Angel and Ricky Nelson. But coming up, though, we were talking the ACW Heavyweight title the heavyweight That's title it. belt the is tournament right is over with and now we've got to the finals and we've got don cronodal against doug summers and there's a little story behind that because actually i think that should have been sam houston in that match but because of a thorn in the side of nelson royal sam houston gave up that shot to don cronodal so let's see if don can take advantage of what sam houston has given him i agree with you baby doll toss of the coin back a couple of weeks ago and uh now the ACW heavyweight title match is coming to television and you're going to get to see it all across America here on the Atlantic Coast Wrestling program for this week. That's Ooh, it. The Lords of the Ring taking a little punishment from Ricky Nelson and Tommy Angel. That's right. It seems like with Tommy Angel and Ricky Nelson, they do so much better in like a tag situation. It seems like just because they're a little bit of inexperience helps each other out in a tag team situation where they really depend on each other a little bit more. You know, Baby Doll, there is, as we've talked about, and we continue to talk about it week after week, there is so much talent moving back into the Carolina, the ACW, and it excites not only these wrestling fans that fill these arenas and come out to see all this action. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Ricky Nelson with a lot of punishment coming off that top rope, flying down onto the arm. Ringlers are putting up a little bit of a fuss, but that was completely legal. It was a little double team, but I mean, you've got till the count of five to get out of the ring. Why not take advantage of it? And why? Why in the world did we have to Ooh. spoil this hour by opening it with a mod squad and a DI? I don't think we had any choice of that. They just kind of walked on the set. Didn't they? But I left. It was up to you. <laughs> you seem to be good at that. I, I mean, you leave me right in the middle of intangements. That's it. Once I smell that cigar, I'm history. Well, I got it right in the face this time, but... Count of two, unable to make the pin, complete the pin. Tommy Angel, of course, ready to punish one of the lords of the ring even more. Yeah, Tommy stood there a little bit too long. He should have hooked the leg, and then once he didn't get the pin, he should have maybe got on him a little bit sooner, but then Tommy's on top with his um, hammerlock beh behind the back, and that is a painful hold. I mean, Absolutely. That's why he took an exit stage left and got out of well, there. Were you about to leave me again? Just then. <laughs> they were getting a little close. They weren't were. It. I have been known to uh, not, what is it, fight or flight? I, I take the flight side. I, I'm not much of a fighter. I saw you slap Paul Jones one time, though. I mean, you laid it on him. Well, I slapped a couple of guys in my day, but then that was one of the fight instances where I, I think I got so mad I couldn't see straight. <laughs> I've learned, ladies and gentlemen, to be very careful with baby doll, ringside or wherever, because... I, I mean, she's a real us. woman, young lady, I mean, jeez. I've been taught how to defend myself. I'm from West Texas where, I mean, ah. men are men or women know their places, I guess would be a place to say it, but I didn't I didn't learn my place. I got out of there. You got us all wearing cowboy boots. I'm going to take you that. <laughs> Lord to the ring, them. taking some real punishment from Tommy Angel and Ricky Nelson. Tag made by Tommy Angel. Nelson in. Hard kick to the far midsection, and all of a sudden pounces down on that body. Full thrust. The elbow. Drop kick, Ooh, a pretty, prime pretty drop, drop kick. kick. Count of one. 
Two. Oh, kicks out. Almost. Of it. Getting ready to ring that bell. Good quick tags. That's that's a good way to keep the fresh man in the ring, keep the tags going. You don't get too worn down. They're working on that left arm. I don't even know the name of these guys except for the ring lord. So. Another flying drop kick by Tommy Angel. He comes up one of the lords of the ring and he begins to literally, literally unhinge on it. These guys look like well done lobsters as red as they are right now. Well, a while ago they looked like two kamikaze pilots coming off that ring. I mean, when they collided. There was a different type of a kick out of an arm bar. Oh, it really was. Oh, not a legal tie. The ref caught that. The ref caught both that right feet quick. Foot. Didn't take him long to recover from that, you know. Uh, one of the one times that the referees really stood up for his ground, hasn't he? That's the truth. You know, this guy only has two, uh, one set of eyes, and how can you watch four men going at it at all it's corners? Rough. Really and especially, is. I mean, that was one of the things I really like to do because once you got the referee ta tangled up, then you could do anything you wanted to. Mm -hmm. This team of uh, Tommy Angel, Ricky Nelson, two real rising stars in That's the it. professional wrestling ranks. My advice to them, I mean, because I've been in professional wrestling a lot longer than they have, I would stay in, in a tag team combination with them because they're learning so much off from each other mm -hmm. and their little weaknesses, the other one takes up for it. And they seem to be a little more successful in doing that. Don't go away, fans, because coming up, the ACW heavyweight title match, Don Canoodle, the pride of the USA, taking on Doug Summers, the pretty boy with Coach Steele. I don't know who corner. gave him the, the, uh, the line of the pretty boy. That must have been in his dream. That turns my stomach. The count of three, it's all over. Ricky Nelson for the pin, the Lords of the Ring. Forget about it, fellas. Nelson and Angel, the winners. There's more to come on the ACW. We'll be back with that big match between Dr. Little and Doug Summers. Who am I? Grand Duchess Anastasia, I believe. But will the world believe that the Tsar's daughter still lives? Do you realize there are 10 million pounds at stake? 10 million? Yes, my dear, the inheritance of 10 million pounds. And so the transformation of a princess begins. I am real, and I will not stoop to prove it to them. Ewell Brenner, Helen Hayes, and Ingrid Bergman in her Oscar-winning role as Anastasia. Saturday morning at 10 on WHNS 21. Choice Meats of Asheville is shattering high beef prices with this special offer. Imagine 200 pounds of USDA choice beef plus 100 pounds of pork and poultry for only $218, or just $16.77 a week for 13 weeks. That's 300 pounds of meat for just $218. Plus, anyone setting a cutting time during this sale will receive a bonus 20 pounds of top sirloin steaks. Choice Meats makes this offer hard to refuse with no money down, no finance charges, no payments for 30 days, and 90 days same as cash. Call Choice Meats today. Business Highlights, brought to you by the Western North Carolina Business Journal and WHNS 21. Here is Andy Andrews, Chairman of the Land of Sky Regional Council, presiding over the 1988 Awards Banquet, while Charles Campbell presents Norma Price with the 1988 Leadership Award. And here are the officers of the Hendersonville Merchants Association, discussing future plans and programs at their regular monthly breakfast meeting. These regional business highlights are brought to you by the Western North Carolina Business Journal and WHNS 21. The heavyweight championship of Atlantic Coast Wrestling is up, and I get to present the belt to the winner. Yes, you know you what? Do. I hate to play favorites, but I would sure hate to give the belt to Doug Summers. Well, I can agree with you, baby doll. Doug Summers, the pretty boy, going to take on the pride of the USA, Don Canodal, for the heavyweight championship of the ACW. And boy, Don is ready to go. He's on Summers quick. Coach Steele is right alongside. And I mean, Don begins to polarize it. This match, ladies and gentlemen, is for the heavyweight championship for the Atlantic Coast Wrestling Alliance. And out of the ring goes Doug Summers That's the it. hard way. <laughs> and Coach Steele don't like it, baby doll, at all. But Doug Canoodle is fired up. Here That's he goes. It. From good the strategy. Good strategy. Caught him off his feet. Doug Summers, I don't think, even knows what town he's in, let alone what wrestling ring he's in. He looks a little stunned here. <laughs> he really little, does, darling. Little lampshades are going back and forth in his eyes, aren't they? <laughs> we heard him pop the concrete it sounded like <laughs> Ooh, a you chisel. like that you got a little squeal out of you anyway <laughs> sure. oh, gonna do a, it's gonna be a fist fight now don canoodle i wouldn't go against don because he's just got that nice little short squatty body those little short rabbit punches they would do some damage well that's for sure 
I now, think this one's going to get vicious before it's over. I think so. What about this uh, pretty boy, Doug Summers? I mean, he's called me everything but a white girl, and I don't think I've really done anything to justify that, do you? I, I don't think you have either, darling. Whoa, did you see Doug? Oh, I like right that. upside the head. I mean, he smacked him right across the jaw, and Doug Summers don't like that at all. But Don says, come on, buddy, you can get all I can dish out. Colt Steele over there, very silent. Not knowing the what to say, what partner. to do. That's it, his partner's down. That's oh, one thing. they're going at it now. It's going to be on, baby doll. The best play is begun. That's it. Those are those punches I was talking about. Whip them in, do some damage. That's it. Now, Don's going after Coach Steele outside the ring, and Duck Summers takes off flying. That's it. That could have been a big problem because you, you want to divert all your attention onto your opponent. The other guy on the other side of the ring, sure he's standing there, but your opponent is the one you've got to be. Well, I'd like the to see him. The official's having to re-emphasize that he is the official and must keep control in that ring. Duck Summers is crawling back in. You were saying he's called you everything but a white woman. I'll tell you something. That man ain't got no room to call me, you, or anyone anything because he there's doesn't. not much to him. Uh-uh, there sure isn't. And look at his hair. I mean, he makes fun of my hair. Look at his. Yeah, a little stringy, kinky. Man. Maybe he should go to Nikita's gym a little bit. I'd like to see him. I mean, I'm up to like almost 400 flights of stairs on Stairmaster in an hour. I'd like to see what he's Talking did. about his hair, darling, he reminds me of a blonde that used to live over on a hill somewhere. Uh -huh. Kind of kinky-haired. It wasn't much to her either. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> That's uh, another story at another time. Yes. Ooh. Wrestling, did you see that elbow? Blows line out of the ring again. I goes. love it. Don, get him Boy, back in the Don ring. Don Canoodle is mad, and he's going to that top rope with Coach Steele and Duck Summers. Don't know what to do about it. I'd like to see him just reach out there and slap Colt Steele across the face one time, too. He's <laughs> right there. Oh, Colt don't want to take his eyes off yeah. of that top rope because Duck's is just stunned, trying to shake off that kinky, ooh, that ugly-looking hair of his. I mean, so ugly, it makes me want to puke. <laughs> it hurts, it's so ugly. It <laughs> you know, there's a difference in you and I, baby doll, because our hair is so beautiful and feminine and manly and womanly. Yeah. So we can talk about a guy like this. Uh -oh. We just go on and on and on and on. But Doug. Dr. Nodal's got his hands full. Yes, he does. We must he say that we can make fun of Doug Summers all we want to, but he is a competitor. Uh, you're right, but Don Canoodle is in trouble right now, and he's not going to take much of this punishment. In a lot of pain. Ooh, a knee across the back. Another knee across the back. Then a kick in the face. Another kick in the face. Up against the throat, and Don Canoodle is down. Duck Summers now begins to choke him, putting the foot across the, the jugger, actually the breathing, the air pipe. Getting a little rough over here. Maybe he's oh. kind of showing us what he can really do after we made fun of him after all this time. This is a very nice place to be. Well, maybe we ought to hand uh, Don Cano. Now he gets that finger across the nose, rakes him across the eye, and then Saunders comes back with a blow right into the face. Come on, Don, you got to hit him. Come on, Don, hit, hit him. Bam. I mean, Don is taking some punishment, not knowing where he's at in the ring. Now he kicks him in the midsection, baby. Don. That's it. Don has Blow really got to fire up now. Let's see what he does with him this time. Grabs that hair, headbutt. He wants that heavyweight title. Saunders is Come down. on, Don, get down on him. Come on, he's, he's laid out. That's Coach one thing. Steel watching every move, and that's another guy Don's got to keep his eye on. Exactly, exactly. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. What a oh. blow across the chest. Don Grinnell lays it on. Pretty boy, Duck. Now the atomic drop. Right down the atomic drop. That move puts any man to his knees and on his back, baby doll. Come on, Don. Just don't stand there. It's almost like... It, well, now he puts a foot right in his face. You almost don't want him to go so much, but God, they've been doing so good. Come on, Don. Lay into him. Don brings him up by the hair of the head, but knowing he's got to keep an eye on this Colt Steele over in the corner because Steele will try anything. Then Pretty Boy comes and wraps Don right in across the midsection, doubles him up in the ring. Definite low blow. I mean, I mean a low blow and a lot of pain on Don Canoodle trying to come out of the ring. He is hurting and hurting bad. But who wouldn't be? Knee across the chin. Two knees across the chin. And Doug Saunders begins to do that typical vicious foul play. Then Look at what's at stake, though. I mean, the Atlantic oh, Coast Heavyweight Championship yeah. is at stake. They're the reaching into their grab bag of any kind of hole they can get at. 
This is worth it all. That's it. The glory, the belt. Come on, hit him again, Don. Hit him again. On the oh, line, didn't need to. goes to the mat. This belt has already cost Don Cronaut a lot of money, and yes. I mean, he hasn't even won it, so he's really going after it. I'll tell you right now, these two guys are dishing out all they can stand. Count of one. He should have hooked two. the leg. Don hooked the leg. Oh. Come on, it's such an elementary little move, and it's, it's such a big mistake at times not to. Don Cronello was in so much pain. Ah! We got our mics and monitors knocked off, the table tilted, and there's no doubt about it, Doug Saunders is laying on the mat, monitors on the ground, Don Canelo wants his title back. They are fighting outside the ring, but now he throws him back into the table, into the corner post. No doubt about it, as the cameras can pick up a little of the action. Don Canelo is not through with Doug Saunders yet. Bams him down across the rope. Then he flips over the rope, cuts a flip, lays down on the mat. Baby doll, come join me. Grab your headset. It is all pandemonium as the best fight has broken out right here ringside. Don Cardinal has landed on Doug Summers. Now he pounds him into the post, rams him down. And I mean, Doug Summers, pretty boy, don't look too pretty. And Don Cardinal says, get back in this ring. And he cannot move. He lays across the rope, across the ring. Don says, bring him in. The championship belt scattered all over this arena. I almost got scattered all over this arena. I'm sorry. The fright or flight, I took flight. Doug Saunders doing everything he can to get back to that ring. Not knowing what to do. He's stunned. He's dazed. L.A. Stevens has come out here to try to help him. And Don Canoodle says, I've taken all I'm going to take. Man, what a heavyweight championship right match this has been. I mean. What a wow <laughs> what we got going here on the ACW. If it's not. <laughs> and now, Coach Steele, you want the mic? This is the way we'll play, baby. This is the way we'll do it. You really? If wants to do, we'll do it. Well, Coach Steele now has said, if this is the way that Don Canoodle wants to play, this is the way we'll do it. And it's gotten vicious. Yeah, it has gotten Doug a little Summers too vicious for me. I can't, I can't run watch. with the stuff trapped on. Well, keep an eye on this ring. Anything can happen. They have been thrown on top of Baby Doll and myself. Don Cornell means business. He wants his heavyweight belt. And he's doing what it takes to get it. But I don't blame him and Sam Houston. They put up with enough out of Doug Saunders, the pretty boy. Enough out of Colt Steele. Enough out of Nelson Royal. Enough out of some of these other vagabonds like the Mod Squad and the D.I. So they're going to give Get him, Don. Get him. No! Colt Steele grabbing him by the foot, putting Don down on the mat, face forward. Don had all the momentum going his way. That was it. Oh. oh no. Doug Saunders trekking. Don Canoodle. Baby doll, that was unreal. Our uh, monitors have been torn to shreds. <laughs> we were almost torn uh, to shreds. Poor Don Canoodle. Our Canudo. lines have been clipped. Poor Don Canoodle. And I did, I, I mean, after everything we've been through, I really wanted to give the belt to Don Canoodle, but, I mean, look at this. Strapped across I mean, Doug Summers. He's the new champion. Doug Summers and Colt Steele. Doug Summers, the new heavyweight champion. After a vicious turnaround, Don had him right where he wanted him. But it all ended. We are going to take a commercial break. Don't go away. Don says he'll have something to say later in this hour. We'll be back, baby. Okay. Tony Marshall says, Mr. Gunn. The big fella with the eye badge. He's a hard-riding, whiskey-drinking, straight-shooting marshal. Chunk your guns out, follow them with your hands high, and nobody will get hurt. I call that bold talk for a one-eyed fat man. It's the Duke in his Oscar-winning role. Fill your hand, you son of a... True Grit. Sunday afternoon at 3.30 on WHNS 21.
Business Highlights, brought to you by the Western North Carolina Business Journal and WHNS 21. Here we see Cliff McClarty and Aaron Harden at their newly opened business, Window Images, in Black Mountain on US 70 West. And John Alicki, a retired business executive, is the grand prize winner of the first annual Caldwell Poster Photo Competition. These regional business highlights are brought to you by the Western North Carolina Business Journal and WHNS 21. Choice Meats of Asheville is shattering high beef prices with this special offer. Imagine 200 pounds of USDA choice beef plus 100 pounds of pork and poultry for only $218 or just $16.77 a week for 13 weeks. That's 300 pounds of meat for just $218. Plus, anyone setting a cutting time during this sale will receive a bonus 20 pounds of top sirloin steaks. Choice Meats makes this offer hard to refuse with no money down, no finance charges, no payments for 30 days and 90 days same as cash. Call Choice Meats today. WHNS 21 brings Bigfoot Fast Tracks to the TNT Spring Nationals, April 28th and 29th at Greenville Pickens Speedway. Now you can become a Bigfoot driver, too. We're giving away pulling packs complete with a toy monster truck, T-shirts, caps, training cards, and tickets to the show. Plus, one lucky kid gets to take home a Bigfoot ride-on toy free. Send us your name, address, and phone number to Bigfoot. WHNS TV 21, Box 21,000, Greenville 29601. Because we're your station. Baby doll back with ACW, and not only do I get to stand out with lots of champions, but I also get to stand here with Todd Champion. Not only did you play professional football for Los Angeles, the Rams, right. and San Francisco, but what do you want to get out of professional wrestling? I want to get out of professional wrestling everything that I put into it, and that's hard work. Now, there's some people in Atlantic Coast Wrestling that take hard work for granted, people like Nelson Royal, Colt Steele, just to name a few. Now, Doug Summers is a classic example. He doesn't deserve to be a champion. Don Carnoodle is a champion. He's a true champion in the true sense of the word. And I'm excited to be here in Atlantic Coast Wrestling, and I want to make my mark here. So, I mean, who are you going to set your sights first on here in Atlantic Coast Wrestling? You know, I just have to take it a day at a time. I don't look three months down the road. I look at it a day at a time. So whoever I meet in the ring, that is my priority. You're going to give it everything you've got. 110%. Okay. Uh, Ricky come Nelson on. and Tommy Angel, come on out here. I mean, you guys are standing in the bylines, but come on, man. Right. Now, this is a job getting surrounded by these guys. Now, Tommy Angel, what have you got your sights set on in Atlantic Coast Wrestling? Right now, i got a lot of things on my mind. I'm being pulled for one direction with the tag team belts and the other direction with the TV title. I'm really not sure which direction I'm going. I'm kind of confused right now. i got a lot of things pending on my mind. There's a lot of outside action going outside the ring, and there's some things that are going to stop around here. And Tommy Angel's got the answers. I think Ricky Nelson and I could take care of that. But right now, I just got to take some time off and think about what's going to happen in my future. Well, maybe not take some time off, but, you know, what I was saying before was you guys are great tag team action. Maybe that's what you should do is just kind of stick together for a little while. Well, you know, Baby Doll, that's what we were doing, first of all. And, you know, our first motivation was to be a tag team and be a tag team contender for the titles. But as everybody has seen what had happened, Tommy and I, we did lose the titles. And uh, i just like to say something. Nelson Roy, you keep running your mouth about how you're going to beat Sam Houston up and how you're going to beat this guy and that guy. Well, let me tell you something, pal. I'm sick and tired of your mouth. I'm sick and tired of your threats and everything you got to say. I am the number one contender for the World Junior Heavyweight title. Sam Houston is a terrific athlete, and he's a good friend. That's right. Tommy Angel's a good friend. There's a lot of junior heavyweights out there, but I am, by the Atlantic Coast Wrestling Standards, the number one contender. And my friend, don't you count me out, because if you do, that's going to be a big mistake on your part. I may be young and inexperienced, and you've been around a whole lot longer than I have, if you know what I mean. But, brother, I'm coming gunning for you, and I'm going to give it nothing less than 100%. And Tommy and I will be back for the tag team title soon. That's right. More from ACW. Fans, I told you, these guys have had enough. You just saw this guy in the ring in a vicious match that maybe have turned on him, but you intend to get that heavyweight belt yet. That's exactly right. As Barbara Streisand, my good friend, would say, Doug Summers has only just begun. You're out here running your mouth. You're the champion and all that stuff. Well, let me tell you something. Don Carnotal, the state of North Carolina, ACW wrestling is here. Well, let me tell you right now, I hate to lose a championship like that. We have a partner out here pulling my foot. But let me tell you something. I've got so much pleasure of putting my hands and my body on you. I'll worry about the championship later. So you know what I'm going to do when I fail one time? I just pick myself up and I'll try 
again. So I got a little challenge for you, Doug Summers, and I'd like for that polecat that's out here with you tonight that you call a partner to keep itself away from the ring. This is just between me and you. So next week, right here on ACW Wrestling, I want you, Doug Summers, I want you, Doug Summers, right here, back in the ring, and I dare you to get in there. You're going to be finished a new champion right here. with you here on ACW Wrestling. We just heard the comments from our good buddy, Don Canoodle, the pride of the US of A. And I don't know whether that bum is gonna get this whistle back or not. I'll crush it <laughs> like I did his cigar. Here's a hammer. <laughs> He's gonna fool with me one time too many, baby doll, that's, that's for sure. You're gonna eat the whistle. Uh, talk about a fired up rocket. The pride of the USA is, but in the ring right now, Hot uh, champion Jack Jackson against your favorite, the DI and Mod Squad. My favorite, my favorite. Yeah. You seem to kind of hang around together a little bit. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. I don't like him either. Let the him one have guy it, that I, I think that if, if the DI and Batcher came by and, and said, "Here's the kind of deal that we want," I would turn them down. I mean, I, I mean, they're champions and everything, but they're not. They're not like my kind of champions. They're kind of weasel type of champions. You're right. Baby doll, you speak so sweetly when you say things like that. You really do. I mean, you tell the truth, though. That's what I want all the audience to know across America. Oh, top champion nailed Spike. And the D.I. doesn't time. like what he sees. I mean, he literally doesn't like what he sees. Both of them threw punches. Him Gomer. Oh, Must I wonder be why. Lack of no, well, Spike able to get Todd Champion over for the tag, and the, and the DI is in. There we Champions go, wise, though, yeah. he knows what's coming. He knows how brutal they can be with that double team. He does. And he won't take much off of this DI who thinks he has got muscles like no other Marines. Tell you what, let me get him on one of my workouts sometime. Oh, yes. Tell me about those workouts, baby doll. I'll tell you what, the I would laugh through one, one little bit. I don't like it too much. Nobody has to pull the hair. That's, there's so many ways of taking the guy over that you really don't need to pull his hair. And always some sort of a way. Now look at that evil corner look to see if the ref saw him pull hair. I mean, yeah. every wrestler or every wrestler has his ways and his techniques, but. I don't know. The DI just kind of grates on your nerves, doesn't he? Can I know a way to get on his Well, oh, there you go. Todd Champion did that just for you. He sure did. Knock him out, John. No, <laughs> you got him back. Oh, I got him back. Good. He likes that. <laughs> he really does. He likes that. Todd Champion's taking a little punch from Spike, though. Oh, right in the throat. See right across the pipe and the tag is made again. Spike ready to put the DI back in action. And Todd Champion is the man that's taking the brutalization. Double team. Choking manner, foot across the throat. I'll tell you. Well, Bill, just stay here. You're 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 I'm getting ready getting to go your in the swing, baby. <laughs> it sure does look like it. I'd hate to have to hold you back because I don't think I could. You ever see me wrestle? No. I'm a better boxer. <laughs> okay. But anyway. The DI is going to get you the man one time, but we'll have to hold you back. It's going to be on. <laughs> Months ahead. Bill Cannell. And Kick the him. There you oh, go. Right across the head. Todd Champion, you're my kind of a guy. That's it. I think Todd Champion just scored about 100 points in your book, didn't he? He did that. Oh, yes. Come on, Jack. Yes. Get him. Jack Jackson. Uh, get the Now, remember, Jack Jackson was the one two weeks ago that proved the upset on the DI. That's right. And it could not, he couldn't have pulled a better upset on a nice And in the immortal words of Nelson Royal, he ate his lunch. <laughs> well, Jack's giving it all he's got, but the DI wants to drag him across the throat and pull him backwards, makes the tag to Spike. Now they begin to double-team briefly. 
I hope Todd Champion's getting his win because I want him to come in here like a stick of dynamite on this team. As much of an athlete that Todd Champion is, I mean, he's played with two professional football teams. He knows how to work out. He knows how to keep that win. And this is a tag team ACW championship match for the yeah. belts. And I'd like to see these two belts be turned over. Oh, and haven't we had a lot of titles change yes. over the past couple of weeks? It could happen yeah. again. And it may, oh, there's that brutal bear hug again. That's it seems to be brutal. like his favorite hold. I was kind of waiting to see what kind of hold he was going to use. Don't, don't he look kind of like a gorilla? <laughs> Doesn't he kind of familiar? I mean, did yeah, you see does. that new monkey at the zoo? <laughs> it might have been his brother, huh? It could have been, baby doll. Drives him into the corner post the hard way. Yeah. Agitator. The man don't know when to shut up, baby dog. Ooh, Spike just literally leveled Jack Jackson. Holds him down. Count of one, two, and out of it. Once again, Spike wanted a little bit of... No, he changed his mind. Changed his mind. Looks like he was going to make the tag. Maybe he just didn't have that eye contact with D.I. to make the tag. I believe Todd Champion wants back in that ring. And I hope... I hope Todd Champion is back in the ring. over there and make that tag because... Ooh, the D.I. nails him right across the forehead. Levels one, and Todd Champion comes in there and says, I've had enough. I've had enough. I've had enough, and I'm not taking no more of them. The D.I. pulling those... Look, oh, he thinks he's so great. You kind of have to wonder in Todd Champions because you get so mad that you forget that you're probably hurting your partner more than you're helping him that way, but you just get so mad and so ired at these guys because they're so blatantly throwing the rule book out of the window. Oh, here, up, up and over. Oh. Well, I don't care what anybody says. I, I would not like to do that. Me neither. But if I had to, I probably would. <laughs> oh. I think I'd no try problems. and get out of every way possible not to take back drop like this, especially if I say, oh. When you go up and over six, seven feet in the air and land on that back, you better be conditioned. If you're not, you won't get up. It's going to hurt no matter if you're in condition or not. It's just dependent on whether you're going to get up or not. Using the trunks to pull him into the corner post and to make the tag to spike. One half of the mind squad. Jack Jackson taking some punishment in this ring on ACW Wrestling this Quick week. Quick tag. Coming up, though, the match of the era. Hector Guerrero going up against Nelson, Nelson Royal. Royal. Junior heavyweight. Oh, oh, that rung the bell on Jack Jackson. Two, three, it's all over. Talk about the bell being rung. The tag team belts go back to, you know, the D.I. and one half of the mod squad spike. Wrestling fans, the title belts are here. Our congratulations to our new heavyweight champion. And I'm going to tell you something. There's a couple of guys here that are fed up with the mod squad in their mouth. I understand they're going around shooting their mouth off, yes. Calling down the Koloff name, the Koloff family. Because they think they're big bullies, that they're really tough. And they're claiming that the Koloff family is afraid that they're chicken, that they, they feel that they're not capable of defeating the mod squad. Well, Mod Squad, I understand you've been pushing your weight around a lot in the, in the past. Did you feel because you were too good to be police officers and stick to the, to the rules that you were kicked off of the force? Now you can do the same thing in wrestling. You can push your weight around. Well, I've got news for you. And first of all, we got bigger things in mind. My dream has always been for Nephew Nikita to be the heavyweight title holder of the world, the heavyweight champion. And you see now that there's a new champion crowned by this time, I understand that nephew Nikita now wants to go on record of challenging this champion because he is destined to be the ACW champion. No, no, I could not be in the tournament. I could not be in the tournament, Papa Sharota. You see, I now can challenge the champion. I can say, I want you. If you think I'm not ready, or if you think I have not had a chance to be a champion, you're wrong. You asked Magnum T.I., a good friend of mine, but Magnum T.I. and I have had many battles in the past. Everybody remember Magnum T.I. and Nikita Koloff. But you see, whoever is a champion, you put your name on the line, and the you turn for Sharota, Nikita, not ready. Well, let me show you. Ah! 
You think I'll go look? Right here. Up here. Hold on. It's where they punch me. On MASH, it's the naked truth. I bet you I could walk into that mess tent, order lunch, start naked. Nobody would pay any attention to me. Are you crazy? I bet you 50 bucks. Has everyone at the 4077 lost their minds or just their uniform? A white wedding gown? I'm entitled. I'm a virgin. Why is everybody suddenly taking off their clothes? You'll get all the bare facts on MASH. Monday night at 7 on WHNS 21. Choice Meats of Asheville is shattering high beef prices with this special offer. Imagine 200 pounds of USDA Choice Beef plus 100 pounds of pork and poultry for only $218, or just $16.77 a week for 13 weeks. That's 300 pounds of meat for just $218. Plus, anyone setting a cutting time during this sale will receive a bonus 20 pounds of top sirloin steaks. Choice Meats makes this offer hard to refuse with no money down, no finance charges, no payments for 30 days, and 90 days same as cash. Call Choice Meats today. TV advertising got you puzzled? Here are the facts about how to spend your dollar wisely. Studies by Burke Marketing Research, an internationally respected firm, reveal that commercials telecast during independent television stations' primetime programming, such as Cinema 21, are significantly more believable to the key 18 to 54 age group than those same commercials viewed during the network's primetime. The facts are in if you want your message to really be heard. WHNS 21 is the answer. Hire us today for more business tomorrow. Join the real Ghostbusters weekdays at 3 on your station, WHNS 21. Back with more ACW action. Baby Doll and Bill Cannell with you this week all across the country. The excitement of wrestling is in the air, and we have in the ring, Baby Doll, none other. And where's his buddies? I don't know. This is the first time. I'm Maybe surprised. this is a solo flight for L.A. Stevens. Where this is Nelson <laughs> Royal and Shasha? I, I mean, guarantee you one thing. They're back there watching the monitor somewhere. L.A. in the ring, out here by himself. L.A. Stevens against me. He's got Johnson. the wet look, too. Yes, he does. <laughs> Minnesota may have given him a pretty good workout before he came out here. It's just sitting back there watching to see what L.A. is going to do on his own. Uh-huh. Which he's not doing too good right now. But coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Nelson might be getting ready for this match with Hector Guerrero. That's exactly what I think he's doing. Nelson Royal getting set for the battle with Hector Guerrero. Toughest to date, I believe, if I could say so. You're right. Brian Johnson and L.A. Stevens at it in the ring, in the ring, here on Atlantic Coast Wrestling. L.A. Stevens just got mailed Woo! by the big man. Nelson's back there gritting his teeth. Up he goes, picks him up, slams him down yeah. into the rim. Blocks him at one. Count of one. L.A. had better start getting his act together or Nelson's going to be out here every single match. And Nelson really can't afford to be out here this time. Well, L.A., let's see it. Don't just, just, just show us. Don't talk about it. We want to see it. Right, baby doll? That's just it. He says, this guy might be strong, but I'm going to show him how to wrestle, but... I, I'm tired of their mouths. I want him to show he you He hasn't impressed me yet. Yeah. Well, me neither. A man I or think uh, L.A. needs to get a new designer for his clothes. I think he does, too. I'm <laughs> the ugliest-looking shorts I've ever seen. <laughs> and he's got a yellow knee pad and an orange knee pad. I mean, this guy's... Hey, baby doll, you like my red coat tonight? I mean, yes. I love you yes. in black. I mean, you really look good in black. I look good at anything. Black, <laughs> black and gold, your favorite color. Yes, that was my high school colors, black and gold, Lubbock High School. <laughs> That's strange. Mine was, too. Really? Yeah. Good colors. But I turned into a guy that likes red, but L.A. Stevens, I think he likes anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bill Cannell, bam. L.A. Stevens punishes the knee. What a what. Show me something, L.A. Show me something. Show me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but that's just a basic move. I mean, any first-year wrestling student knows can I do agree. that. I agree. And I, I think this Brian Johnson is an up-and-coming star. And, ooh, he ain't going to be an up-and-coming star much. Not with one leg. Not with one leg. <laughs> well, L.A. says he's going to show us something, baby doll, as we watch him. Ooh. Right down the neck breaker, yeah. right against the head. DDT. Count. One, two. Well, give L.A. Stevens a hand. That was it. I mean, he did. Gee whiz, give him a hand for a job well done. And you know, baby doll, you get you're, to interview you're not gonna do this Nelson. To me, are you? Yes, I am. You're not. You get to, hey, it's the world's junior heavyweight champion. Well, I'm going to take this other microphone, and I'm going to go over here, 
And I'm going to talk to this guy. Yes. You gonna take time to talk hey. to me? Yeah, we got time to talk to you. All right, you. good. I'm glad you hey, changed your mind. Look, Bill Cannell, when my teacher speaks, brother, I have to go over and listen to him because he's gonna make me a champion. You understand that? Well, I didn't see your teacher out here with you a minute ago. Hey, I wanted to match dinner. He didn't have to be out here with me, brother. Well, where was your teacher? He was back there watching the monitor. He don't always have to be out here at ringside. And when he's out here, I don't always have to be at ringside. L.A., L.A., I know you wanted to match. I know he was back there resting because he's got Hector Guerrero coming up. That's what he was doing. Well, we're going to teach Hector Guerrero. He's been a world junior heavyweight champion, but I am now. And Guerrero is the one that has to beat Nelson Royal. He just like Sam Houston in line wanting to get after Nelson Royal. Like I said before, he goes and talks to his mother. She's the one that tells him whether to come in a ring, and I guarantee you she's not going to tell him to get in with Nelson Royal. And Hector Guerrero is going to be the same meat, mister. Nelson, come on, we're going honest, to eat it. Be honest. Like winning all these matches the way you're winning. I win, mister. There's only one place. That's number one. Number two don't count. The man that goes across the finish line, that's the man that counts. The man in second place is the man that you don't think anything about. Number one. Do you want more TV channels than you now receive? Then you need a satellite system from Pearson Electronics and Anderson. With your own dish and decoder, you'll receive over 130 sports information and movie channels. Systems start as low as $11.95 installed. Pearson Electronics has TVs, auto stereos, VCRs, CDs, and scanners, and lots of satellite dishes. We offer expert installation and excellent repair. So treat yourself to more channels than ever before with a satellite system from Pearson Electronics, across from the Jockey Lot in Anderson. TNT! Redman TNT Spring Nationals roars into Greenville as Chevrolet presents the world's most powerful pulling series. April 28th and 29th at Greenville Pickens Speedway. See your favorite ESPN stars. Newly crowned national champ Paul Norman, Fred Freeman, Mark Hare, and more. Plus the premiere of Bigfoot Fast Tracks. The world's fastest car crushing half van, half tank. Save $2 on adult advance tickets now at all Jiffy Lube locations. It's pure TNT! Choice Meats of Asheville is shattering high beef prices with this special offer. Imagine 200 pounds of USDA Choice Beef plus 100 pounds of pork and poultry for only $218, or just $16.77 a week for 13 weeks. That's 300 pounds of meat for just $218. Plus, anyone setting a cutting time during this sale will receive a bonus 20 pounds of top sirloin steaks. Choice Meats makes this offer hard to refuse with no money down, no finance charges, no payments for 30 days, and 90 days same as cash. Call Choice Meats today. The American Dairy Association reminds you that every baby needs milk and a little recognition. So WHNS 21 and America's Dairy Farmers want to recognize your baby regardless of age. Does your baby excel in business, sports, the arts, scholastics, or are they just a caring person? If so, tell us about them in 25 words or less. Each Saturday during Star Trek, the next generation will select a winner and help you say, that's my baby, with a t-shirt and a savings bond. Send your entry to That's My Baby in care of WHNS 21. Well, wrestling fans, I always get a pleasure out of doing something he can't. <laughs> oh, shut your mouth, man. Call off! Who do you think you are? You're not interested in these tag team belts. What we think you are is crazy. You're chicken, Russian, redneck. What do you mean you don't want to wrestle us? Just the heavyweight belt go to the one priority. You redneck chickens better get out of here. Because we got a contract with your name on it, and we're going to kick your stinking gun to the sale. Let me tell them something, Spike. I'm a little mentally irregular right about now. Because we're the champion, and the bash is a little excited himself. He called me on the phone before I came out here. We want you. I don't see you. Are you, are you hiding? Where are you? When you decide... What your priorities are, you can see us, because we flat don't care. We got these, and you don't. So come on down and find them. Mike, tell these rednecks 
what I mean? I'm too crazy to talk. Absolutely, he is crazy. You shut your mouth, man, and we're gonna kick your tail just like we're gonna do them so long. You wretches, what's wrong with you people? You get out here and you sign your name on the contract and you wrestle the Mod Squad and the DI. Come on down. And we are back with Atlantic Coast Wrestling with our World Junior Heavyweight title match. Nelson Royal against Hector Carrero. And Sam Houston just threw his hat Yes, Sam. Ring. Sam. Hector Guerrero did not make it here. Are you serious? I, I'm serious. Hector Guerrero did not make it here. And what I want to do is get in there and take the man. Ladies and gentlemen, Hector Good Guerrero. Morning. Hector Guerrero has not made it to the arena. Sam Houston will take his place against Nelson Royal. Hector Guerrero didn't show. Sam Houston will wrestle Nelson Royal. You got no choice. You've got no choice. That's just it. Nelson Royal signed for a World Junior Heavyweight title match. Really, it doesn't matter who he goes against. Because oh, it's on. Woo! I mean, all of a sudden, it's on. And all of a sudden, Nelson Royal takes up in the ring. Says he has got to wrestle Sam Houston. And Houston is fired up. That's just it. The coach against the teacher now. Yep. Let's just see how it goes. Because this is a complete surprise. Here for two weeks, we've been wanting Hector Guerrero. Are you going to wrestle this man? I'm going to eat his lunch. Okay, we're gonna see. Since he's gonna eat his lunch, I really don't think so. This is gonna be a match. This is what Sam's been waiting for. Ever since Sam's coming to the Atlantic Coast Wrestling, I mean, he's he's wanted Nelson Royal. He gave up a chance for the heavyweight title, and now he's got his chance against Nelson Royal. Well, baby doll, Hector Guerrero didn't make it to the arena, but Sam Houston is here, and Nelson has got that belt on the line, and he better watch every move in this match. He had better watch it because. <laughs> Nelson said he's ready to eat his lunch. I'll tell you what, Sam will eat his lunch. It's on now. He's only got Shasha over here. That's it. So there is no L.A. out here. No. There is none of the rest of the D.I.s and the Mod Squad to put up with. Ooh. There oh, it is. That, just that little bit of experience, kick. Sam. Left himself open. You can't blame Nelson not to take the shot at him because it was, it was a legal kick. That was an illegal punch, but I'll tell you what, Sam rang his bell. He rang his bell the whole day. He rang it again. Yeah, come on, Sam. Go after him. Show him what you're made of. Nelson Royal knows he's met his match. There you go. Lay into him, Sam. Don't let him cool down. And Shaw Shaw can only do this. <laughs> Beat on the ring, throwed him across the ring. Actually picked him up like a little toy. Throwed him across the ring. And Houston ain't done yet. Doesn't Sam look good? The extra oh. weight he's put on, the experience, about 15 more pounds, and Sam is going to take on anybody he wants to. And he wants Nelson, Nelson Royal. Royal. Something bad. As I said, what, two weeks ago, I said if, if a wrestler had a chance to go against Nelson Royal, no matter what, Nelson's going to teach Sam a lesson here, no matter, no matter who comes out the winner. Nelson's going to teach Sam a lesson, but I think Sam's teaching Nelson a little lesson right now. I agree, baby doll, but I'll tell you what. I mean, this was all unexpected. Hector Guerrero didn't really? show up. Here this was Sam fun. Houston. <laughs> Sam says, I want him. He signed. He's got him. That's it. Baby doll's going to step over to the set. She's got some people she's going to be talking to, but we're not going to leave this match. Now, Nelson Royal says Sam Houston is his. Houston's got other thoughts, and it is getting to be unreal. Pandemonium is going to break loose in this ring before it's over. I don't know why. I've got that electrifying feeling. And where is L.A. Stevens? She's not out here, but Shasha is over here patting her little white gloves, looking with the look of concern on her face. Houston now nails him with a backdrop into the back. And Nelson Royal is helpless, laying up in the ring at the moment. We hope that Jack Jackson is all right after that brutal punishment that he took. He and that match, tag team match with Todd Champion, the Mod Squad Spike, and D.I. Boy, one of my most unfavorite people. And Nelson Royal decides he's got to leave the ring. I thought you were going to eat his lunch. Instead, he's eating your lunch, Mr. Royal. I warned him earlier in the show that that belt may not be his very long. Sam Houston wants it. And now he decides he's got to keep the belt if he has to go in the ring and fight with the belt. Shasha trying to distract the official, the referee. 
Houston grabs him, tells him, look at him, and there's the belt back on the ground. Almost Nelson Royal ready to go into the ring with the belt and lay to Sam Houston, but Houston was one step ahead of him. Wow! Houston up against the forehead. He levels one, two, three, four, five, six blows up again. And all this are right in the midsection. Ooh, let's let's go to baby doll standing by with ricky nelson and tommy angel we'll break from the action between nelson royal and sam houston i've got tommy angel and ricky nelson and ricky i know you want nelson royal just as bad as sam does you know baby doll my style to come here and run my mouth and tell people how bad i am and what i'm gonna do but what you're looking at in the ring right now is a man on the run he's done everything he can to put stumbling blocks in my way he put people in front of me to come after me to hurt me to put me out of wrestling so i can't challenge for the junior belt well let me tell you something sam houston is a very accomplished wrestler he's taking nelson royal to the limit right now and when this shot goes back to the ring i want people to know something nelson royal is on the run and baby i got your number if sam houston didn't get that belt i will and i tell you something i'm giving myself an ultimatum nelson royal I'm going to beat you somehow, somewhere, baby. And if I got to break the rules, I will, because I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of being run down and beat up. You never need me in your corner to take care of Shaw Shaw. I'm more than willing to help you. And Tommy, what have you got your set, sights set for in the future? I think I finally got to set my sights on that TV title. I'm tired of all the outside interference that's going on. We're going to stop it all together at once. So, Cold Steel, you better be on your best card, because Tommy Angel and Ricky Nelson aren't going to put up with it anymore. Tommy, I'm sorry, dog, to interrupt y'all, but I'm watching this match and listening to Tommy. Tommy's my partner, but, you know, as much as I want the junior heavyweight belt, that's a world's title. It's not an NWA or WWF or any, you know, uh, federation. It belongs as a world title. Everybody in the world's going after that man, and if Sam is lucky enough and fortunate enough to beat this man for the title, you know, I want my shot, too, but I'm pulling for Sam just like it was my partner. Hey, all I can say is the best is Sam, but Nelson Royal is a marked man, and he is on the run. There's no doubt about it. So what would you, what would be a little words of wisdom that you've given to Sam? Because actually you've wrestled more against Nelson Royal now than Sam has quite recently. That's right. You know, Sam is a student of Nelson Royal. And Nelson Royal is a very knowledgeable man about professional wrestling. And Nelson also happened to taught me a few things. But I tell you what, the teacher doesn't always give the student everything he knows, but the student has to learn somewhere else and come back. And what goes around comes around. And my friend, Sam Houston, and I and everybody else, our time has come to shine. And if Sam's fortunate enough, like I said, to win the belt, I want my shot at Sam. And I know the Sam will go for me. But Sam Houston is taking Nelson Royal to the limit right now. And if I get my chance again, I will. You know, all I can say is, Nelson Royal, your time has come to go. That's right. And all the ACW stars will be seen all over the Carolinas and Virginias coming up. When you see the ACW, you're going to see these guys. You're going to see Baby Doll and number one. Finish my day, my work is done. I moved the earth about a million ton. A hanker for dinner and a side of grits and a date with Betty at the Cafe Ritz. How about going out with me, hon? Can't tonight, I'm watching 21. So I look to see what you're speaking of and woo, I found a brand new love. Believe it or not, I'm telling you the truth. 21's my station, it's Betty's too. It's mash and cheers and Matt with a gun. Never knew I could have so much fun. So when the day's over and the work is done, you find Betty and me in my 21. Choice Meats of Asheville is shattering high beef prices with this special offer. Imagine 200 pounds of USDA Choice Beef plus 100 pounds of pork and poultry for only $218, or just $16.77 a week for 13 weeks. That's 300 pounds of meat for just $218. Plus, anyone setting a cutting time during this sale will receive a bonus 20 pounds of top sirloin steaks. Choice Meats makes this offer hard to refuse with no money down, no finance charges, no payments for 30 days, and 90 days same as cash. Call Choice Meats today. TV advertising got you puzzled. Let WHNS 21 bring all the pieces together for your next campaign. When I need to let people in the upstate know about an upcoming event, I know I can count on WHNS TV 21. Of all the advertising media available, I found TV 21 the most effective for Carolina Supply Company. In Western North Carolina, call marketing specialist Mike Waddell at 258-2100. Hire us today for more business tomorrow. Baby doll, this match has not ceased. Nelson, then Houston, Houston, Nelson. They have brutally punished each other. Once in a while, Nelson, uh, Nelson Royal thought he was going to eat Sam Houston for lunch, but Houston hadn't give up. Neither is Nelson. These guys are battle warriors. 
up against the rope, trying to rub the rawhide off his face, baby doll. I hate to say this, but I would have liked to have thought I was a good luck charm for Sam Houston, because when I was here, he was doing a lot better, but Sam's got to get on his feet and get that win back. Oh, Houston on, is Sam. down, and Royal loves every minute of it. And so does Shasha at the moment. Well, yeah, they're the champions that look pretty good. If she gets like out of hand, baby doll, go over and whoop her <laughs> butt, okay? All I'll right. handle this ring <laughs> deal. You go whoop her butt if she gets out of hand. Well, Sam looks like he's getting his footing back underneath it, so maybe I won't have to. Well, I know one thing. Nikita Koloff is after he and Ivan, the mod squad, and that's coming. That's Billy. Ooh, so that'd be a great man. Man. Houston has fired back up. The agony and tears about the wine. Bam, they go into the rope, sling him across. They're about to tackle. Bam, and he puts him on the mat. Big Larry and Sam. Big Larry. See, Sam didn't hook One, his legs. Two. No. Oh. Almost, almost. Sam has just got to keep going. I don't see how these two guys have got much left in them. Nelson Royal goes down on the mat. Look at what they're fighting for. I mean, to, for us to be going, God, how can they keep going? We don't know what they feel like inside. And after talking with Sam for a couple of weeks, he wants Nelson. He wants them that. And we don't know why. I mean, no. you know, just, and L.A. just came out. L.A. just made himself to the What range. are you doing out here, L.A.? Hey, don't bother me right now. Sam's noticed him, but Sam can't do that. L.A. No, it ain't going to be no two. Bam! Now, Cha-Cha goes over to get the rest. Here comes... The bell has run. L.A. and Nelson have collided. That's Cha -cha it, that's it. Cha-Cha gets knocked on the Now, Sam, you... Come on, bulldog him, Sam. Bulldog him. Bulldog... Bam! That's it. Oh, yeah. Sam that's Houston it. is fired up. I think Sam spent enough time around Ooh. me to where he knows how to counter that double Ooh. team. Now, Houston is literally polarizing. Sam's got to watch Roy. L.A. L.A.'s coming in the ring. Here comes L.A. Ooh. Right into the midsection. Sam Houston takes a vicious blow from Nelson. That'll knock the wind out of you every time, and, it's, and you may have the best momentum in the world going, but, oh, get hit in the solar plexus like that. After There's the no way. Bulldog. Boom. Nelson and L.A. going there. Double team, double team. Ah, no way. You gonna eat him for dinner, Nelson? I don't see you chowing down, partner. That's right, I think he's eating some crow right now. Come on, Sam, lay into him. Come on, you got him down, you there got him down. There comes L.A. again. Man, if I was, if I was Sam, Nelson. I'd kick him right in the face. I would, too. <laughs> I would kick right him there. right in the teeth, not leave any left. Let him lay over there for a while while Sam finishes off Mr. Roy. That's right. Boy, what a match they're seeing on what Atlantic match. Coast Wrestling this week. And there's more to come in the weeks ahead, fans. Oh, God, Bill, the show's ending. What are we going to do? I think, well, they just have to join us next week. Oh. Counter one, two. 